Pictree AI is a powerful tool for creating high quality, engaging videos quickly and easily with AI. With a few clicks, Pictree AI will create entire videos for you, including all your B-roll footage, your background music, and even realistic human sounding voiceovers. Not only can you convert any script into a full length video that's ready to go with just a few clicks of your mouse, you can also convert blog posts into videos, as well as generating AI videos from any B-roll footage or images that you upload. Now let's get into the tutorial and I'll show you how to use all the features inside of Pictree AI. So once you first log into Pictree AI, you're gonna see a dashboard look something like this. Now, if you haven't yet got access to Pictree AI, then you can get access to a free 14 day trial via the link in the description below this video. And if you stick with me to the end of this video, then I'm also gonna give you a 20% discount code. that will give you 20% off any Pictree AI plan if you choose to upgrade after your 14 day trial. Now onward with this Pictree AI tutorial, to start creating videos, you've got a few options here. The first one is converting a script into a video. Then we've got converting a blog into a video. There's also an AI video editor. So if you've already got your video recorded, but you want to use Pictory's editor, then you can use this to quickly and easily add lots of fancy editing to your videos. And then this option enables you to create videos from any visuals like images or B-roll footage that you might already have yourself. You can upload that to Pictory AI and it will create a video for you. So to get started, I'm going to show you how to create your video from a script. So let's first click this option. And now here, Pictory AI brings us to the section where we can enter our script. So I've headed over to ChatGPT and already created a short script for our video on the top five places to visit in Thailand. So I'm going to copy this script and then head back to Pictory AI and paste it in. I'm just going to space this out a bit just to make it easier for the AI to work with. Cool. Now, as you can see in the bottom left corner, Pictory AI also does a spell check for you on your script. And at the bottom right, it will tell you how many characters in your script. Next step is to click the proceed button, the top right. And now this is going to create a storyboard out of our script. And now Pictory AI has created the storyboard on the left hand side here for our video. And it's already chosen all the B-roll footage to go in our video down here. And what's really cool about Pictory AI is when it's creating your video for you, it checks your script relevant to each scene and it will choose the main keywords for that scene and then find relevant B-roll footage to match. So here is the opener, it's chosen an image from Thailand. And then scene two is about Bangkok. So it's chosen images from Bangkok and so on. So that's really cool. It's going to help you to match accurately your B-roll footage with what your video is actually about and what's been spoken about at each step of your video, which is really cool. Now, as we can see in the top right corner, this video duration is only two minutes and 55 seconds. It's a fairly short video. It's only a short script here, but you can use Pictory AI to make both long form and short form videos. So regardless if you're making long form videos for YouTube or shorts for YouTube or videos for TikTok or Instagram or whatever. Pictory AI can make videos for all those platforms. Now, for the most part, Pictory AI will create pretty decent videos straight out the gate. So sometimes you might feel that you don't really need to add or change anything much at all, really, and you're good to go. But it's always a good idea to check through your video and make edits and changes where needed. So if you need to edit or change your script, you can do it in two ways. First of all, in the left hand side, you can click into any of the scenes and then write anything extra you need to add or delete anything. You can also click into the subtitles that are actually on any slide and start to write in here, which is pretty cool. So it makes it really quick and versatile for you to make your edits. And as you're working in here as well, you've also got a menu at the top where you can adjust the size and the font, bolding, the color, and so on. Now heading over to the left-hand sidebar here, if we choose the next option down, which is the visuals, now this will bring us into an area where we can change any scenes we might want to change out. So for example, if you didn't particularly like this first scene for whatever reason, I can search the library here and let's look for a Thailand beach and then see what Pictory AI comes back with for us. And if you hover over any of these, it will start to show you the video so you can get an idea if you like that one. So if I want to switch out this first scene for this image here, I quite like this one myself. All I need to do is double click the image and I'll switch that out for the first scene. Simple as that. Then heading over to the left sidebar again, let's go to the next tab down, which is audio. So of course in here is where we can change or add our background music and also our voiceovers as well. So with the background music tab selected, first of all, we've got a big, big library in Pictory AI of lots of different types of music to choose. But we can also search by mood and we can select what kind of mood you want that music to be, as well as purpose and genre and also the duration. So you can really drill down and find something that you really like. And then when you find something to add it to your video, all you do is click the apply button and that's just applied that background music to our entire video. Now heading back up to the top, still under audio, but let's select voiceover. Now here we get loads and loads of different AI voiceovers to use as well for our videos. 
and the premium voiceovers are supplied via 11 Labs, which are definitely, in my opinion, the best AI voiceovers that are out there. They're really good. Now, I'm not going to spend time in this video showing you a sample of all the different voiceovers. I have done that in a previous video, so if you want to see that, you can watch this video that I'm showing on the screen right now, and I'm also leaving a link to that video in the description below this video, so it's easy for you to find it. Once you find a voiceover you like, all you do is select the Generate and Apply button, and that will use that voiceover for your entire video. Next option in the sidebar on the left is Styles. So here is where we can change and edit the style of how our subtitles appear. And if you hover over any of these styles, it will show you how the animation works with each of these subtitles. So this is a really nice feature, and you've got lots and lots of different styles to choose from to make your video more unique. So if I want to switch it out for this one, all I do is simply click on it, and it changes it out. Very, very simple. Anyway, I don't like any of those. I'm going to go back to this one for now. Then heading back to the left sidebar again, next option we have is text. So here we can add more text to our video. For example, you want to add call to actions in your video, but just be aware, whatever is in the subtitles of the video down here, so this is the actual story of the video, and this will be narrated by the AI voice, or your voice if you choose to upload your own voice sample. You can do that if you want to. However, if you add anything here from the text to your video, then this won't be narrated by the AI. The video will play as normal and the script will be narrated. And then at certain points in the video, if you wanted to add text and call outs, you can do that. For example, something like that. Then heading back to the left sidebar. Now the next option is branding. So if you want to create videos for the same brand, you want to make it quick and easy yourself to access the same brand colors and logos and images and fonts and anything like that. You can set all that up here in the brand board. And then the next option is we have elements. Now here are lots of weird different shapes that you can use and put in your video and of course you can change the colour of them as well. But I think what's a bit more interesting is at the top here we've also got options for stickers, which some of these can be quite fun. And then we've also got GIFs as well. There's loads and loads of GIFs that you can add into your videos or search from the GIF library and emojis as well. You can add lots of emojis in your videos. And then last option down here is the format. So 16 by 9 this was what you would use for YouTube videos. And then the portrait, this is what you'd use for TikTok or YouTube Shorts. And the square is good for Instagram posts. Now coming down back to our video and see the timeline down here, in between each of the scenes, you can see this little icon where it says add transition. So we click on this. Now you have options to add nice smooth transitions between the scenes. This is pretty cool. And if you hover over each of them, you'll see a little animation of what it'll look like. So it's going to go for the smooth. And now you can see the color has changed. That's only applied between two scenes. But if I want to apply the same animation to all of the scenes in my whole video, I hover over the icon, this little menu appears, and I choose the next one that says apply to entire video. And now you see they've all changed to the purple color. And they've all got that nice smooth transition between each of the scenes. And if you want to remove it, you just select one of these options here. And then when you're ready to watch the whole video through as a preview, you can see the preview button at the top right here. And then when you're happy with it, you can click the download button to download your video. Now, so far, so good. Pretty simple. Let me show you the next option in Pictree AI, which is to create your video from a blog post or an article. To create our video from a blog post or an article, we're going to select this option here. And now we have a field where we can enter the URL of our article. So I'm going to head to my blog and choose a article to make a video out of. So how about we go for this one about finding your niche and the top six evergreen niches. So I come to the article here. And it's a fairly lengthy article. I come up to the top and grab the URL. Come back to Pictree AI and paste it in and then click the generate video button. Now Pictree AI is going to read my article, put all the content into the AI, but then the AI is not going to just speak my article word for word. It's actually going to use that content in the article and turn it into a script so it actually comes across well for a video. And it's also going to then find relevant B-roll clips that will go well with my video and it'll also pull in some of my images from my article as well. So here on the left hand side is the exact article word for word with images and I've also got the audio version of this article in this blog post as you can see uh, here. Pictree has pulled in everything and then in the right this is the scripts it's now created based on this article. So if we look back at the beginning you'll see that the script here is not the article exactly word for word which is great. It's transposed this content into a script that will sound better when it's spoken for a video which is brilliant. Now at this point, if you want to make any changes, you can do so by clicking on any of the scenes and making edits here. However, don't worry, you'll get other options to change this later if you wish. So we go to the next option. And now Pictory is using that script that is generated for us and now creating the scenes to go along with our video. 
So now we can see the video is pulled into the Pictory AI editor. Script is on the left hand side so we can change the script if we want to here or by editing subtitles as I showed you previously. And this current video at the moment is 4 minutes 25 seconds long. And all the other features I previously showed you still apply so you can change the visuals, the audio and the styles and so on. Then once you're happy with the video you can click the download button and you're good to go. Now if you want more of a deep dive on how to convert articles and blog posts into videos using Pictory AI then you can watch this video on my channel right here. I'm linking that video in the description below this video so it's easy for you to find it. That will go in more detail on this particular feature of using Pictree AI. Okay, back to the main dashboard in Pictree AI. Next option here is to use Pictree's AI editor to edit any videos that you have already created. So if you want to do this, you click this button here. And here you can drag and drop your video files into the upload field here. Then I click the proceed button. Tree AI is going to pull my video into its own editor where I can use Pictree AI's features to edit my video. And those video editing features in Pictree AI are the same ones I've already shown you previously in this video, so don't need to go over those again. Back to the Pictree AI dashboard. Last option is to create a video from any visuals or B-roll footage that you currently have and you want to upload that to Pictree AI. So if we click this option here, now I can drag and drop my visuals in this box here. So if I go ahead and do that, I've downloaded a few images of Thailand and then click upload. And then once they're all uploaded, click the proceed button. And that's going to pull all these images into the Pictree AI editor for us. Now, personally, I prefer creating a video with Pictree AI from a script or from a blog post because it just makes it so much easier. However, this way still works, of course, but this means that you don't have a script here now. So you don't have to put your script in after, which is fine, but it's just a different way of doing it. And then again, you get access to all the other features of the Pictree AI editor that I've already previously shown you in this video. Now, if you're liking Pictree AI and you want to keep using it after your free 14 day trial, then you can get 20% off any paid plan of Pictree using my discount code, which is SWE20. I've also left that discount code in the description below this video. So it's easy for you to find it and apply it to your account. To show you what the pricing plans look like for Pictree AI, so you've got the starter plan, the professional or the teams plan. Or if you've got quite a big business and you need to be quite a heavy user of Pictree AI, then you can get in touch with them to arrange a special pricing for you. Other than that, most users are going to use one of these three plans here. That said, the professional plan is the most popular and the definitive plan to go for, since it's going to give you way more minutes than the standard plan, use of more premium AI voices, a larger stock library, and so on. Now, if you choose to pay monthly, this is what the pricing looks like. However, if you pay yearly, then the pricing is considerably cheaper at 24% reduced if you pay yearly. Now, if you couple that with my discount code, which is SWE20, that's going to give you a further 20% off your account. So if you choose to pay yearly in that case, you're actually saving 44% off your plan, which is a pretty amazing deal. That said, I know some people would just prefer to pay monthly, which is fine, in which case you don't get the annual additional discount here of 24%, but you will still be able to get my 20% discount on these plans as well if you use my code SWE20. So once you've created your free trial and you're inside your dashboard of Pictree AI, come up to the top right corner and then choose my subscription. And this is how you can apply your discount code to save you the additional 20% off your plan. So you'll come to this page here. You'll choose if you want monthly or yearly pricing. And now here is where we can enter our discount code. Click apply. And now we will see for this particular plan, the professional plan has been reduced from $468 per year to only $374 per year. which is saving us almost $100 per year, which is a great saving. So that's how you can use all the features inside of Pictree AI to create your videos super fast and easy using AI features and tools. Now, if you've got value from this video, then please do like, share and subscribe. It really helps my channel out a lot and I really appreciate it. Now, if you want to see a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use Pictree AI to make YouTube videos, then you can watch this video here. Alternatively, if you want to watch my step-by-step -step video to show you more details about how to convert articles and blog posts effectively into videos using Pictree AI, then check this video out here.